Hey everyone, Vincent here from XD's Productions. Today in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create this nice particle orb animation. And you guys may know it as another name as the Futurist Experiment Animation. Yes, Futurist Experiment Animation. Well, that Futurist Experiment Animation we're going to recreate today in this video tutorial. And now the reason why I'm doing this now is because before I didn't have YouTube Partnership, so I had a 10-15 minute video limit. But now that we are a YouTube Partnership, then we can start doing longer video tutorials. And I believe this video tutorial will be longer than 15 minutes. So bear with me. I'm trying to slow down. I know it's kind of fast in the video intro, but you know it's an intro. You don't want to listen to me all day. So let's get started with this video tutorial. So you do see the star particles moving around the lens flare, and you see the light streaks. And then you see the main lens flare, and it's moving around in its own environment. And I'll be teaching you how to create this right now. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a new composition. We're going to name it main comp. I'm going to do 1280 by 720, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, of course, 29.97 frames per second, and 10 seconds long for now. Click OK. So we have a blank canvas. I'm trying to slow down and work my way with this video tutorial. So we have a blank canvas right here, a blank composition. We're going to hit Control Y or Command Y on the Mac. So Control Y on the PC. And we're going to name it BG. And make it comp size black. It's OK for now. Click OK. So now we have our background. We're going to create a new null object. So layer new. Layer new null object. So we have a null object right here. We're going to create two, two lights. So layer new lights. And we're going to name it emitter 1. With a capital E. Make sure it's capital E and make sure it's exactly spelt like that. Emitter. And click OK. So we have a light. We're going to hit Control or Command D on emitter 1 to duplicate it. So now we have emitter 2. So we have two lights now. I'm going to move the null object up between these two. I'm going to name it Control. And then I'm going to hit the toggle switch and hit the 3D knob to make sure that this control layer is a 3D object. So make sure that this cube is selected for the control layer. And what we want to do now is actually hit P on the control, P on the emitter 2, and P on the emitter 1. And we're going to line things up. So basically, as you see here, the controls X is at 140. We're going to change the position of emitter 2 to 640, as well as emitter 1 to 640. So now they're all lined up in the X axis properly. We're going to change the Z to 0. And then we're going to go to emitter 2 and just lower down the, the Y axis. So basically we have the null object in the middle and in between we have the null object and then we have a light on top and a light on bottom. So basically null object in the middle, light 1 on top and light 2 in the bottom. So basically it's like a sandwich basically and the controls in the middle. So now that we have that set up we're going to parent emitter all of our emitters to the control. So for the parent parent it to the control and for the emitter one parent it to the control so now if we move our control the light follows us so now all we have to do is actually just control the control instead of controlling the lights individually so if we can close the lights down and leave our control open what we're going to do for the position is alt click on the stopwatch and again we're going to type in a quick expression wiggle so it's going to give it a random movement. Again, for your animations, if you want to control where the light streaks go, then you control it by keyframing. But for this video tutorial, I want some random movement so I can work with it. So I'm going to create this quick expression. Wiggle, open parentheses, 1, 500, 500 pixels, close parentheses. So that just gives our null random movement around like that. It's just moving around freely in random space. And what we want to do now is actually add some rotation because we don't want it to stay still straight up like this. We want it to swirl around like orbs do in the previous animation. So we're going to hit R on the control, letter R on the keyboard, and we're just going to alt click on the X rotation. Alt click on the stopwatch for X rotation. And we're going to type in time star 100. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to actually animate the value for the evolution. So the evolution right here, the value right here, it's going to time it by 100 and it's going to animate by its own. So as you see, the numbers are increasing. And it's just a quick way of animating the evolution. So basically, as you see here, our null object is turning and twisting, and it's not remaining straight. And that's what we want. So now that we have our basic rundown, we're going to actually create the light streaks now. So we're going to Control or Command Y 
again to bring up a new solid layer and we're gonna name it particular streaks like that we're gonna go to the effects and presets and search in particular on your trap code we're gonna drag that in so now we have particle submitting and what we want to do is attach this particle system to our lights so let's go to the emitter tab and change the emitter type from point to lights so now our particle systems are attached to the light and now wherever the lights go the particles follow like shooting stars like BOB yeah so we're gonna change the particles per second to about 400 a lot of particles right there we're gonna change the velocity to 0.5 so it's barely moving and it's kind of a string we're going to change the emitter size x to zero emitter size y to zero and emitter size z to zero so we get basically a string of particles as you see here moving forward we're going to scroll down to the pre-run and set it to 100 so basically they don't emit at zero second they're just already pre-running they're already emitted we're going to go to the particle tab change the life to about 1.7 so they're not as long and then we're going to change the sphere feather to 100 to give it a little more smooth look so it's not rugged we're going to change the size to about 3 for now we might change this later on depending on what you want to do and then we're going to change size over life and give it a nice linear ramp like that so it dies down it gets smaller over time as it dies same with the opacity over life we're going to give it a nice ramp we're going to change the opacity to about 70%. So it's kind of darker. Transfer mode to add. And basically we can choose a color. We're going to go go to the to the set color. We're going to change it to over life so we can choose a gradient. We're going to go to color over life and set a preset right here. We're going to change the start color to maybe a light blue. Like that and then depth color to a darker shade of blue something pretty dark like this so we get this nice coloring and we're going to move on to the physics so as you see here when we move through the timeline our animation is going through and you see where the lights are there's a light streak following it and it's just moving nice and smooth. Everything is nice and smooth and linear. We want to affect the position right here. We want to make it kind of choppy and swirly. So we're going to go down to the physics. Go to air. Open turbulence field right here. And what this does is actually there's already, there's already a turbulence field right here. But nothing's activated. So we're going to activate the turbulence field. And we're going to pump up the effect position. Just pump that up. So maybe about 56%. And as you see here, our turbulence field is affecting our position. The light streaks are, effect are affected by the turbulence field. And the position of the light streaks are not linear anymore. They're actually being affected and they're actually becoming swirly. And they're not as smooth. We can change that to whatever we want, maybe 72. We're going to change the evolution speed to maybe 12 so it, so it doesn't move as fast. So basically we have this string following us around and it looks pretty good. And so that's one streak. We want to duplicate this and create multiple streaks per light. So right now we have one light streak per light. We're going to go and click on control D on the particle streaks. So now we have two layers. We're going to go down to the turbulence field again and just change the position so it's not the same. See right now we have two of the same particle streaks they're on top of each other so we don't see a difference we see one only but we're going to change the position and watch what happens maybe change it to 50 and maybe change the complexity to 2 and pretty much you, keep, you want to keep on duplicating it and just changing the values a little bit so it looks different from the original and maybe random C down to a different number maybe 5 so as you see here, we can start to get two per light. Maybe you want to change the effect position a little bit more, maybe 90. So they're a little bit different. Start to get some effect right here.
just like that. Keep on duplicating it and changing the parameters. And set velocity down to zero for this one. Change the opacity to about 40. Let me change the size to 4. There's so many things you can do, just change it up a little bit and make it more randomized. So I'm going to RAM preview this right now. So as you see, there's two light streaks per light, and there's two lights, so that makes four light streaks. And of course, you can duplicate this again and make three light streaks per light. So just a really quick, cool animation. It's kind of wispy, pretty fast moving, magical feel, like a Harry Potter or something. I don't know. But we can move on to this. You can go load to this after. But I'm going to move on. I'm going to stick with two light streaks per light, with four light streaks in total. And what we're going to do now is actually create the environment first. So I'm going to create a new composition. Name it environment. And here we're going to add a new black solid. BG. We're going to go here and type in particular. Drag that in to the BG. We're going to go to the emitter and create a star field. This is similar to the epic space field tutorial that I did before. Emitter type to box. So if you need help on creating this environment, you want to watch the creating a epic space world video. Um, vid link in the video description. But basically, I'm gonna move pretty fast on this one. I'm gonna change the emitter size, increase it way up, pump it up so it's pretty wide, pretty tall. Give it some depth, and we're gonna change the particles per second to about 40. We don't need that much particles. We're going to go down to the pre-run again, set it to 100 so it already starts when the timeline starts. We're going to change the life to about 1.5, sphere for that to 0, size to about 3, and opacity over life, give it that nice curve right here. So what we have, and scroll up to the velocity, change that to about 15. So we're going to RAM preview it. So we have this particle star field right here. Nothing too complicated, just something real quick to give it a little more different look. And then we're going to go and create our lens flare. So control command Y, type in optical flares. You can use any lens flare you want, it's optional. Let's go in here and type in Alright, so basically let's go in here and type in optical flares. Bring that into the optical flares layer. I'm going to go to the options. And then we're going to go to the preset browser and just select a preset. We're going to go to the pro preset and select the... This preset right here, North Star. We're going to delete some of the irises. Glow streak. And I'm going to change the color a little bit to a more blue color. Something like that. I'm going to go to lens object, add a streak. And change the length down to about 22. And that should be good. Add it to our scene. Move it to the side right here, something like that, and change the transfer mode to add. So we have this nice part particle environment right here. Of course you can add smoke to that. You can view the video tutorial, I'll be link in the video description. So now we have our environment made up. We're going to bring our environment in. So back to our main comp where we have our light streaks. We're going to go to the projects and bring in the environment and bring it under the BG. So now we have our background behind there. And now we can create that nice lens flare using optical flares for our light streaks. So, Commander Control Y again, name it Orb. Now, of course, for this, you can use optical flares, you can use Nose Light Factory for the flares. You can also use the original lens flares if you know how to use it correctly in 3D space. And you can also use Trap Code Lux, which works actually quite perfectly well in this video tutorial. I like optical flares, I'm going to drag that into the, uh, to the Orb layer. And I'm going to change the source type from 2D to track lights, so our lens flares are where the lights are. And we're going to hit randomize lights. 
and I'm gonna add some flicker so 40 for speed and 40 for the amount so they flicker a little bit when they move and I'm gonna change the lens flare type now I already made a preset but basically you create your own preset find whatever lens lens flare works for you I made my own lens flare right here and I'm gonna hit OK and select this one and I'm gonna change the scale to about 40% we don't need it that big and then of course change the transfer mode to add so the orb layer is additive mode and it adds to our light streak so basically here's what we have let's ram preview it So as you see, our lens flare follows the lights, and our light streaks follow the light lens flare orb. And again, you can use Lux with this or anything like that. It works. And then we have our particle animation back here moving around. So basically, you get the basic idea. Basically, it's a really basic video tutorial to you guys how to create the light streaks and how it moves around flowingly like that, and how do you attach it to a lens flare like that, or an orb, or a Lux. Basically, the concept is still there. Use what you learned in this video tutorial and incorporate it into something else and create your own style. This is just technique-wise. It's not really creating anything stunning or amazing. It's just technique-wise. So you know how things work. You know how to use expressions. You know how to hook and parent things to something and learn how to use particular in a more advanced way. But this video tour, we really focus on how to use particular and how to incorporate it in our project. So this is a hardcore particular training for you guys. This might not be the best video tutorial for our noobs at After Effects, but it gets them going and see what things ahead of them can use and how we more advanced users can create something like this and just to show people what we can create using something really simple like particular but basically what I have in mind is actually doing a particular training, a trap court form training, an optical flares training really t teaching you guys in depth about particular and form particularly and don't forget to check out the Facebook page link in the video description where I give out free project files sometimes and also post up works and screenshots that I do because I do do a lot of works that you guys don't see on YouTube like projects for clients, projects for my friends, for other animations and all that stuff and I post screenshots there and like pictures of what I'm doing and things like that so really cool Facebook page check it out, link in the video description be a fan, it will really mean a lot to me comment, rate, subscribe and tell me if you, you learned anything in this video tutorial and hopefully you guys get the basic idea on how to parent things together and all that stuff and of course you can add a glow to this video animation I try my best to slow down this video tutorial and I hope it worked a little bit. I know, I know I'm going pretty fast at the end right now because at the end I need to go. But basically that's how you do it. Add your own tweaks to it, add smoke, add different lens flares, add glows, add everything, add a shine to this. Make it beautiful because you know it's your own project file. This is just a video tutorial. If I was doing it for a reel for a client or someone for my demo reel, it would it would not look like this, it would look a lot better. But thanks again guys, comment, rate, subscribe, check out my channel for more video tutorials on After Effects, Photoshop and more. And thanks for watching, guys.